All right, so so welcome back to the uh, to part two of the Schubert seminar with uh, Chi Hong Chao uh, telling us about flag varieties and mirror symmetry. So please go ahead. Oh, so uh, so I yeah. So to summarize, to recall our goal is to uh, compute. PLS map when evaluated with the MV cycle. So we but we know um, so we can take a composition and um, the input is uh, some matrix coefficient. So that would be so what we have seen is that uh, some uh, it goes to zero if uh, the weight of that uh, lies uh, is smaller than this 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 particular weight. And when the weight is equal to this uh, W P W zero lambda, that we get a quantum parameter, which is a unit. The one is important here because it's even a unit over integer. I mean, we have seen the the intersection number is one. So we can, so we have a priori. I mean, the composition of PRS map and Y Z map is. Is a map from the coordinate range of BET to a column cohomology. But be and be because it sends this matrix coefficient to a unit, we can localize it. I mean, this map factors through a localize, the localization. And because it sends uh, this the other matrix coefficient to zero, this map further factors through the, the quotient ring. And um, Oops. And uh, we look at the left hand side. We see that it is uh, we, because we localize and take I do, and geometrically the same as uh, we take away a device and take a close up scheme. So the left hand side would be the the coordinate range of the fiber product of BET uh, with respect to some locally close up scheme. And we can show that if lambda is regular dominant, this sub scheme is a uh, rule cell. So we so we can replace the domain by the scheme like this, and it has something to do with um, the Peterson variety I introduced earlier, because we can we had defines a map sending BH to to be uh, to in this way, in a quite obvious way. And this map will induce um, the, the vertical arrow here, because we can take a fiber product with basically the same uh, sub-scheme. And we have a uh, by log, uh, which I defined in the last page. And the lemma says that we can show that uh, uh, there's a map by making the diagram commute. And we can, sh and it turns out we can show that these maps are bijective. And this proves the Peterson variety presentation and using phi and the localized version using phi log. Yes, yeah, so, but, uh, but I probably have, won't have time to explain why they are bijective. Okay, so let's go to mirror conjecture. Uh, we have rich mirror of G mod P. So for any G mod P uh, reached constructor, the following the lambda Ginsburg model uh, consisting of four things, but well, actually five. Uh, um, namely the volume form, but we probably have, won't have time to discuss. So the space, so we have a, the mirror space, which is a fam, which uh, which should regard as a family of uh, non-compact Calabria over 
a sub torus of uh, the the maximal torus of the Lenard deal. And uh, and we have we also have a super potential defined this way. So we see what uh, I mean. So pi is a projection here, and p is some something needed only when we talk about the uh, equivalent mirror. So p we we usually call it a equivalent perturbation. And uh, yes, yeah, so here's a definition. And uh, the, the mirror conjecture says that um, some, some, some connection associated to, to the rich mirror, which I will define um, in a second, is isomorphic to some connection I associate to the the, the quantum cohomology such that so it's an isomorphism uh, identifying the two connections such that if we pass it to the say my classical limit we will get uh, isomorphism of rings between the Jacobi ring and the quantum cohomology ring and uh, reach. Uh, prove that um, the Jacobi ring is isomorphic to the to the Gordon ring of a scheme I introduced before. So by the by Peterson variety presentation, more precisely, the fact that phi log being isomorphism, by this fact we we see that uh, this is true. And uh, this conjecture is still open. But recently, Lem and Tom Pillier proved the conjecture for all minuscule G mod P. Oh, I, this is minuscule um, varieties. And um, I will try to explain to you uh, why the conjecture is true for any G mod P using the things um, we have developed so far. But um, before that, let me um, give you some details about the two connections. We have A side connection, which is, um, which is quantum cohomology. And uh, you see there's a extra C side action but this Caesar action is just a trivial action. And um, and um, and the connection is um, is the quantum connection. But uh, we have a parameter h slash here because we would like to connect the case h slash equal one and h slash equal zero. So we just introduce this polynomial parameter. At the same time, this parameter is the equivalent parameter for this extra C section. And um, the quantum connection, con we also have this term, uh, which is the equivalent first string class of certain Lie bundle on G mod P, which, um, I associate, which is the Lie bundle associated to the, the i fundamental weight. And the B model connection is more complicated. So roughly speaking, um, we have a module, uh, uh, which is roughly the top degree twisted Dirac cohomology, twisted by the, the super potential. Since we are uh, considering the equivalent mirror, so we have uh, this term uh, coming from the equivalent perturbation. And um, so this is the relative Dirac convex because uh, we are not just looking at one mirror, but a family of mirror indexed by quantum parameters. So we have, we take the relative 
uh, differential form, a uh, differential complex. And then we, right, twist the, the Dirac differential like this, and then we take the top cohomology. But this is not actually the, the, def the correct definition because uh, uh, the definition I gave you is just the case when we fix the equivalent parameter. So because of this term, I mean, in general, that would be the complex tensor with a sim of T do H slash. But if we fix a parameter, equivalent parameter, this term is gone. But but for simplicity, we do that here. And this term is that uh, we pull back the certain one form on the dual torus. And the uh, one form is defined by the parent with this equivalent parameter and the marker down form. So marker down form is like D set over Z. So we have this module. Um, up here, we don't know each, whether it is free or not. We just define it to be a, a co-kernel or something. But we can define a class money connection for this this module. And this is the B model connection. And um, also we we'll, let us let us look at the Jacobi ring. And again for simplicity, let's fix the equivalent parameter and quantum parameter. By definition, um, the Jacobi ring. So the Jacobi ring will be the I mean, let's say this, the spec of this Jacobi ring will be a family, it will be a scheme over the, the, the space of equivalent parameters and quantum parameters. But since we look at, um, we fix them, so we look at the fiber of it and the quadrant range of the fibers. And by definition, it is equal to the, Uh, the scheme theoretic zero class of this one form, uh, which is the difference of two one forms uh, over this space. And recall, um, our mirror is a fam family of, is a family over the, the space of quantum parameters. So we, if we fix one of if you fix the point downstairs, we, we get a fiber. So that's why we consider this space. And there are two forms on it. One is the exact one form DW, and the other is the closed one form defined by the, the by P. And observe that uh, the first form is a restriction of some one form from this. Uh, so I will, I will have to recall the mirror is the intersection of two space. One is the Borel, the other is the this space. It turns out that uh, these two forms, one uh, from one comes from one form on one space and the other from the other space, and. Uh, we, because uh, these two spaces are sub, oops, are sub varieties of the plan and two group of G. And um, we, call, we call something from synthetic geometry, if we have a sub, sub manifold, I mean, if we have a sub manifold, And we know the cotangent bundle of Y is a sympathetic manifold. And we can look at the, we can have a Lagrangian, which is defined by the Coromo bundle. Where, but this is a Coromo bundle. But if the manifold has a one form, close one form, we can actually consider the shifted Coromo bundle. Namely, we can take the graph of this form and then we, I mean, define, like how we define Coromo bundle. So then we get a Lagrangian. So for this two form, we get two Lagrangian of the Coromo bundle of G. 
GTO. And um, oh. but we are not actually considering the covalent model, but uh, some Hamilton reduction, uh, namely the, the so-called total space and also the uni universal centralizer. Uh, and it's well known that uh, we have two Lagrangian formulation on this synthetic manifold. One is induced by the projection to, to the Lie algebra, and one is, the, is induced by projection to the group. So here, here we have some identification, some obvious identification. And the first one gives rise to the, the total system. And you know each for each of the point the fiber is the some centralizer group, subgroup. So that's why we call it universal centralizer. And um, this total is also it's basically the same as the BET I introduced before. It just the base change along the this portion map. And there is another and the second formation is given well look like this. The the base is actually the torus. So the, the space should be, I mean, the base should be singular, but it is stratified by some, some torus according to the parabolic type. So if, if we fix the parabolic type, we have a torus. And uh, for each of the point of this torus, the fiber is a smooth Lagrangian, which we denote by so LH and LQ respectively. And uh, here is, um, so we have, we only, we are only, uh, only looking at the, um, say, my classical case. So, so, so we, we have seen this isomorphism, which is proof by reach, but uh, Telemans has an, an, another proof, which I'm going to tell you, is that the, because um, the total space is a, a Hamilton reduction of the Gorangian bundle, we automatically have a Lagrangian correspondence. And uh, so I've introduced a four Lagrangian, two from the Gorangian bundle and two from the Tudor. And it turns out they are related by the so-called geometric composition. And yeah, for 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 the for this Lagrangian, the 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 I mean, so, so the direction is, is a difference. So for this for the first Lagrangian, uh, I go from the left to the right. And for the other, I go from the right to the left. So uh, so for the first case, uh, we take the intersection with the, the this quasi of manifold. And it turns out it is, um, it, the intersection projects isomorphically down there to the, the Lagrangian in the total. And for the other direction, we start with the Lagrangian dance there, and then we take the pre-image. So that will be the fiber bundle. It turns out that it is it is the shifter coronal bundle. So we see that from this picture, we see that the intersection point upstairs uh, identify with the intersection point stands there. So that we get this isomorphism. And we have seen this isomorphism before. So by composing it, we get the isomorphism, the Jacobi ring and uh, the quadrant ring of the intersection of the Lagrangian is told there. And then we, by some straightforward argument, we can actually generalize the arguments to the family versions. Yeah, this, this isomorphism is nothing but the gen, a family version of uh, the isomorphism in the bottom. So, so far we are, we are looking at the same classical case, but we can, so here's the big picture. So uh, I've introduced all this map. So uh, to get the, the, the original the non semi classical case, which, oh yeah, but before we do so, we, because we, we are going to quantize it, uh, but it's not very convenient to conduct. So we look at, I mean, we just consider some other form. Well, we, we've seen it is this localization and then to the ideal. 
but it's not still convenient enough. And you know, because the localization can be written in this form, you can take the tensor product first and then we take the idea like this generated by this element. Now we can quantize everything. And um, what well, this something, um, let's, let's, let's start with something easier. So this is the, the B model we've seen before, and this is the map we are looking at. And uh, the C star, the extra C star action is the trivial one, I've told you. And um, as I said, um, this C star action is the loop rota rotation. And it is something I need to tell you. And this idea is also something because it's no longer commutative, the idea will not be the two set idea, but will be like right idea. But we have to replace the original matrix coefficient by some other some other elements. We also have to replace this map as well. But it turns out that I am not able to show that uh, this map are bijective. I can show that they are subjective, but it's enough to for me to induce a map. But I have something more to do because it's not injective. I have to do something to show that the final map is bijective. So let's start with the quantization of uh, the BET. Um, as we kind of call it, think about construct a um, ring isomorphism. Um, from the so we first have a deformation quantization. Well, this is really the standard notation that the, the right the terminology. So total is a sympathetic manifold. We then we can consider deformation quantization. Well, it is the it can be defined by quantum Hamiltonian reduction. And they show that uh, the ring, so this is a non commutative ring. And they show that it's isomorphic to the convolution algebra. And we, I mean, when there's no uh, C star action, this is just a point charging product. But if there's a C star action, we, this becomes a non commutative product. And by extension of scalar, we get a module isomorphism. And now, so here we define it to be some extension. And um, we call we, we have a matrix coefficient, which is, uh, we, we can show that this is an, a priori and not an animal of this ring. But we can, and because uh, uh, OT is a free module over OT, uh, multiple, we can take a basis such that the first term is one and the other terms are have higher degree. So we can express uh, the matrix coefficient uh, such that we also we have a leading term and we will use it to define the ideal. So here is the definition. But we are now looking at the I, I forgot right, left or right, it should be right, I do. Because um, it's now a module. It's, I mean, it's not it's not ring, but a module of Toda. And this element is the element of Toda, so we can add it from the right. So we can form this ideal. So I've told you this map, this map, this map. So what remains is this map. And we have a long abelian shift operator because um, when we define software side of math, uh, we can actually look at C star action. So if gamma is C is C star equivariant, which is the case for uh, for Boston resolution, we uh, the C star actually acts on the 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 file bundle as well. So we can consider the modular space of that, and then we, when we define the Gomorrhian invariant, we look at the uh, t times c star or g times c star 
um, equivalent integral. So then we get such a map. And one new feature uh, is that uh, well, before, I mean, I mean, we look at, uh, you know, when we define a side side of map, we look at one map point, hitting some cycle at over infinity. But now we look at the second map point, which is required to hit uh, an input cycle over the zero. Yeah, the, the way I draw this input cycle like this, because uh, well, it is topologically trivial. I mean, it, this device is topological trivial, but it's, it has nothing to do with the trivialization uh, away from zero. So that's why I draw it like this. And one important thing, a lemma is that uh, they're some they're kind of a border map, and uh, more importantly, they commute with the the a model connection. And we define our um, the deformation of PRS map by x going to x acting on one. So you see, um, when when the input is one, is just the the the, the whole device itself. So the definition is just it's just it's basically the same as uh, phi SS except that uh, uh, we are looking at t star, a uh, t cross c star equivalent integral. So we are able to compute it, like how we compute uh, this map. And also, but, uh, and also um, we are introduced, after we introduce a uh, c session, we, there are some new properties and we can use it, uh, use, this, use this property to identify the connection. I mean, you know, we, we after we construct the map, we have to see that um, um, B model connection goes to A model connection, and um, these properties are used in the proof. So yeah, that that's the end of the talk. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.